when your account was first created, a single map was created for you. This is best illustrated on the account screen. Most customers only need one map, and so there's never a need to create a second one. But some situations do benefit from having additional maps. For example, if you're a service company and you serve different geographic areas, then you might want to create a separate map for each of those cities or regions. Another example is where a larger city might want to create a different map for each department. For example, a water system map and a sewer system map. The pros of doing this are that each department can set up their map with their preferred colors and special layers independent of how the other departments set up their maps. And you can even share some of the same common layers across these maps. And there's no additional cost for creating new maps. The disadvantage of using multiple maps is that it can be a little difficult to manage all your layers as you sometimes forget which map you stored things in. But assuming that you do have a need for another map, here's how you do that. We're here on the account screen. If you're watching, we got here by selecting account and user list from the map menu. I have the map section expanded here, which shows me all the maps that are on my account. By the way, you must be an account manager to add a new map. So to add the second map to my account, I click the add new map button. Then I type in the name of the new map and click the add button. When other users on your account come to this account screen, the only thing they'll see is a list of maps, so they can choose which map they want to view by clicking on it. So to view our new map, I click here and choose Go to Map. The initial viewing area of this map will default to the same area used on your original map. If you're creating a second map of the same town, that's good. If you're creating a map of a different town, that's not good. So to change this initial view, you just manually zoom the map to that new location. And then get the map just the way you want it to appear when it's first opened. And then you click Menu, Map Properties, and then click this Use Current View. From now on, the map will open to this view. While we're here on the Map Properties screen, this is where you would change the name of your map. And if you want to know about some of these other options, click this blue Help button up here. The last thing I want to show you is how you might share some common layers between these two maps. Now this probably doesn't apply if your second map is of some other town, but if you've created a second map of the same town, then there will probably be several layers on your first map that you would also want to add to this map. So to share one of these layers with this map, you'd click Add. And in the action, instead of creating a new layer, we're going to add an existing layer. So it asks us what map does this existing layer belong to. Here's the name of my other map. Now here's a list of all my layers in that other map. And I want my water lines layer from that other map to be added to here. And I click Add. So now that, that layer was added here. This is called sharing a layer because there's only one layer that exists in both maps. So if I made a change to the water lines layer on this map, that same change would instantly appear on the other map. However, I do have the ability to give each layer its own display settings on one map compared to how it is on another map. For example, on this map, I might have my water lines be blue, whereas on the other map, they might be gray. Or, on this map, I might have my water lines layer initially turned on, but on the other map, it's initially turned off.